Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic. Number format exception in Java program. So first of all, let us start with what is exception. We'll have a small revision on that. Exception means runtime error. Error which occurs during execution time of a program means when the program is getting any getting executed and if we input any if we give any incorrect input in the program during execution then we will get runtime error so what happens when runtime error occurs so when exception or runtime error occurs program execution stops at that particular line only remaining statements are not executed so it is technically it is called as abnormal termination of the program or in simple words it is called as breakdown of program so to avoid this abnormal termination of program or breakdown of the program we have to perform exception handling mechanism so exception handling mechanism in Java programming is done in three steps first monitor or detect the exception and when exception occurs accept the exception and then finally provide the best alternate solution for the exception so for this we use try block so try block in that block we monitor or detect the code where exception may occur in our program to throw keyword so using throw keyword we are going to accept the exception okay and then catch block so in the catch block we process the exception means we are going to provide a best to proper solution for our exception so when you provide a best to proper solution for your exception there is no abnormal termination of the program so this is how exception handling mechanism is completed now coming to number format exception so number format exception so as we know that every exception is an object in java program and these exception objects are created by jvm automatically for predefined exceptions or by developer for user defined exceptions so coming to the predefined exceptions so for predefined exceptions we have different classes at the top level we have throwable class and then followed by the exception subclass so these two classes are super classes for all the predefined exceptions as well as user defined exceptions which are used in java programming so now under these we have two categories of exceptions checked exceptions unchecked exceptions so checked exceptions are compiler known exceptions so for them try catch is compulsory otherwise we'll get a compilation error and next one unchecked exception for unchecked exception try catch is not compulsory it is not known to the compiler but when exception occurs it leads to abnormal termination of the program so to avoid abnormal termination of the program developer has to detect those exceptions and provide try catch in your programming now coming to the number format exception so number format exception is a predefined class and it is unchecked exception so we have to detect number format exception and then provide try catch so in what situations we'll get number format exception so when we try to convert improper string represented number to number data then we get number format exception so when we try to convert string represented number into number format number format means either integers or floating format in that situations we'll get number format exception okay so when you don't perform proper conversion of string to number then we'll get number format exception 
So let us try to implement this in the form of a small program number format exception example one. So program to demo number format exception. So class number format exception example one and program execution starts with main method. So let us save this program in our working directory. So save it as number format exception example one dot java right so let us try to accept some input as command line arguments okay and then command line arguments are string okay and we'll perform addition of those two numbers okay right so let us take two variables int a b and then some variable right so next in a i'm going to store integer dot parse int of command line argument arcs of zero so command line argument is a string string is converted to integer and stored in a similarly will take b integer dot parsent of arcs of one so second command line argument so two command line arcs so two command line arcs converting string to integer using integer dot parsent method which belongs to integer class it is a static method it can be called directly with class name parsent is a static method which belongs to the integer class so what is the input parameter it takes it takes a string which is represented by a integer okay and after that we'll perform the sum is equals to a plus b system dot out dot print ln so print sum is plus sum right and finally we'll also say here system dot out dot print ln end of the program right so save it open the command prompt go to your working directory and then compile the program number format exception example one dot java so no error and we are not getting any compilation error because it is a unchecked exception try catch is not compulsory but when exception occurs it leads to abnormal termination of the program so here we are getting array index out of bound exception reason because we did not pass command line arguments so we did not pass command line arguments but we are accessing the command line arguments arcs array with zero index and one index so this is array index out of bound exception now pass the command line arguments so java number format exception example one give a space 10 space 20 arcs of zero arcs of one so the answer is 30 so once again execute the program 10 followed by high okay so 10 high so 10 can be converted into integer high cannot be converted into integer so we'll get a number format exception so number format exception for the input string high okay so this is how we get number format exception similarly if you try to convert a string into floating or double also will get number format exception provided if the string is not in proper number format okay so the note point goes like this in parse int or parse float methods of wrapper classes if input string to these methods 
are not in proper int or float format then we get number format exception so this is how we have to process number format exception in java program so that is what is all about number format exception which is a unchecked exception thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day